My name is Sandy Beltran from You Can Call Me Sweetie, and I'm here to talk to you about Julia M. Usher's cookie art competition that I am so honored to be judging again for the third year in a row. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I started doing cookies in 2013, and just one year into my cookie journey, I won Cookie Connections 2014 Cookier of the Year. The following year, I was nominated and I became a finalist for the Cake Masters Magazine Cookie Award. And that very same year, I started Sweetie Academy World Tour. I am a professional instructor that has traveled to over 20 different countries and over 30 different cities here in the United States. And I also have experience in judging. I have judged for many different cake and cookie shows, as well as cake and cookie events and online cake and cookie competitions. Some of the things that I look for when I'm judging is a piece that really stands out, one that really gives that wow factor and being quite innovative with their designs. I also absolutely love clean lines and using the correct consistencies and especially when painting on royal icing, using the correct medium to do so. Now in Julia's competition, we take the rules very seriously. We don't disqualify, but we do deduct on scoring. And there's nothing more disheartening than to see a piece that's so well executed and so well thought out and it won't place because the rules weren't followed. So if I'm gonna give you any advice, read, reread, maybe three, four times the rules and make sure you follow them so that you have the opportunity to play. One of the great things about this judging panel is that we're all so different. We come with different expertise, different opinions, and different views of cookie art. We systematically judge and score each entry to ensure the most objective and fair evaluation as possible. So if you haven't registered yet and you're still thinking about entering, think no more, just do it. It's going to be an amazing experience and you're going to be part of one of the most prestigious cookie competitions in the cookie world. So with that being said, thank you so much for listening, guys. I cannot wait to see all those entries. Hi, cookie friends. My name is Stephanie Kappel and I'm the owner and cookie artist at The Hungry Hippopotamus. I started my cookie journey in 2009 and started instructing in 2012. I've been fortunate enough to teach around the world and on the seas with some of my best cookie friends. I'm a three-time Craftsy instructor and I've had clients such as Disney, William Sonoma, and DC Comics. I've been in your shoes as well. I competed in season one and was a finalist on Holiday Gingerbread Showdown on Food Network. I've been so honored to act as a judge for Julia M. Usher's cookie art competition for several years now. And I'm here to give you some hot tips of what I look for as a judge. I am a total sucker for clean piped lines. They get me every time. I'm also looking for good icing consistency and I'm a total geek for a well thought out theme. I think that some contestants get tripped up when they try to do too many things. I'd rather see contestants do less skills executed well than try to do all the skills and execute them just okay. There are some amazing prizes to be won for this competition, but I think aside from those amazing prizes, some of the best things that you can win are growing as an artist, getting out of your comfort zone, and having fun. I can't wait to see what you create. Hello everybody, I'm Laura Saporiti. I'm an Italian cookie artist. Uh, I'm also a pastry chef and the cake decorator. Um, and I'm one of the international judges of this year online uh, edition of Julia Usher cookie art competition. Um, I've been in this year in this field, uh, the decorating field for more than 10 years now. Uh, I'm a professional teacher and I have um, an ex quite an experience 
as um, as a competitor myself uh, and as a judge. Um, among the uh, competitions that I won that I can mention, uh, there certainly is um, the um, first prize in the uh, 3D category of last year edition of Julia Asher Cookie Art Competition, which I'm absolutely uh, very proud of. Uh, and before that, maybe I can mention that I won, uh, I was one of the uh, top 10 uh, international cake artist of the year 2016 um, at the uh, New York Cake Show. And the following year, 2017, I won the Rising Star Award uh, at the Golden Tears Awards uh, organized by American Cake Decorating and the New York Cake Show. Um, as I said, I also have quite an experience as a judge internationally from China to America. Uh, and I'm here today to talk to you about what I normally look for into uh, an entry. Um, uh, well, there are many criteria that normally uh, I look at, but uh, among those that normally really gets me, really excites me more, uh, there certainly, um, there certainly are the details. I like finely uh, executed uh, not necessarily intricate but finely executed details in uh, into competition entries uh, with um you know, uh, which normally shows uh, expertise and knowledge. Um, but I normally do not like uh, overwhelmed uh, pieces with too many details. Um, when they are overcrowded, uh, I think they are not very um, uh, balanced, let's say. So I definitely like uh, very finely executed detail. Uh, but I also look at the overall cleanliness of the of the piece, um, at the balance of the piece, and this is also uh, probably because uh, my area of expertise are three uh, D pressure piping, which I definitely absolutely love <laughs> and also painting uh, actually i won um the uh, the uh, i won the the um, the award as um, best uh, painting artist here in italy twice in the past so um but that's just my particular skill uh, overall i would say that i love the cleanliness of an entry um, of a competition entry and again the uh, details and if i had to uh, add another Another, um, another suggestion but this is just my let's say emotional part that talk uh, talk about it um, I like when uh, pieces have a story behind it so when they have a kind of a meaning which uh, this year should not be difficult since uh, the theme uh, it's already uh, a theme uh, for both category 2D and 3D. It's already a theme with a meaning. So um, I am very excited and looking forward to uh, see all of your um, competition entries and uh, the best of luck to you all. Bye.